How to integrate your Google Ad lead form extension with CRM or with custom webhook? But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Serhan Ichvanao and I'm CEO and founder of Discover My Business. I have been running successfully Google Ads for almost seven years. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video so everybody who has this problem can see this video and fix this problem. <laughs> So the first thing first, in the previous video, I showed you how to create this form. If you missed this video, uh, this is there's a link. And if you already have this form, but you have a problem with creating webhook or integrate with your CRM, that's one is for you. Again, go to your form. If you don't know how to do this, uh, let's I'll walk you through right now. Go to all campaigns, pick campaign where you create this lead form, then go to ads, extensions, then scroll down and you will see lead form. Click on the lead form and you will see your actual uh, form extension out here. Click edit, scroll down and you will scroll down and you will see the lead delivery option. Click on this option and then it will show you uh, choices to get the leads. The first one is just every 30 days get the CSV file, which is not working for you because you need to respond to your leads or put them in automation like right away. Um, so they're asking you about the webhook URL and key. And if you click learn more, there's not a lot of information on how to customly do this. So what we recommend is to create a custom webhook, not through the Google, but through the Zapier. So I will show you right now how we do this for our clients and for us. So simply log into your Zapier account, create Zap, then go to type Google lead form so zapier actually create the actual app which removing all of the headaches when you add pick new lead continue and this is uh, the tricky part they give you a hook which is you copy and insert over here and in regards to the key it's not like api key from crm it's just a password so make sure you create the custom password uh, I will use as the example right now, I don't know, let's do 877-522-7738, our office phone number. Uh, then click send test data. It will show you that they send the data from Google to Zapier. So if we now continue and make a test, we will see all of the information from the contact form, such as full name, uh, username, email, and postal code. As you remember in the previous video, we showed you how to create this form. Then click continue. And the next step is integrate with your CRM. So for example, HubSpot. So if you have a HubSpot, you can add HubSpot trigger. Uh, if you have, I don't know, MailChimp, you have a MailChimp. I mean, we're using all the time custom spreadsheets and from the custom spreadsheet, sheets we're using like a custom email automation so i hope this helps if you guys have any questions the comment below and i'll gladly answer with another video or if you want to speak about google ads for your business don't forget to contact with me thank you and see you in the next video